Hi everybody, I'm David Bloom with Next TMT. I'm here with Blair Harrison, the founder and uh, CEO of Frequency. Yesterday Blair spoke on, on stage, gave a keynote speech. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that speech and about Frequency and where he sees the industry going. So let's start with what you had to talk about on stage. You had a 20 minute presentation. What was occupying your mind? Well, I, I gave it the title somewhat cryptically, The Autonomous Media Company. In fact, when they asked me if I wanted to have a subline on it, I said, no, I'll just, I'll just go with that. Leave it like that. Keep people guessing. Yeah. And so when we talk about autonomy, uh, the autonomous media company, I, I feel like that's programmatic ads, that's uh, AI-generated content. I mean, what did you mean by that? Yeah. Now let's get into your, let's right. get into your subhead here. Well, so Frequency is in the business of creating, building the tools and services for people to create channels, streaming channels, often fast channels, but of course increasingly just linear channels. Um, we build the software that our customers who are content owners use to create them, so no. So they pour the content into your for the cups content of stuff. In, for the processing, packaging into consumer and viewer experiences and distributing, that's what we do. So no, in fact, I deliberately uh, did not talk about advertising and I didn't talk about content creation. I talked about automating the process of creating these viewing experiences for these, these uh, content experiences for viewers. So you've got to start obviously with the content and then you can think about things like wrapping ads around it or doing sponsorships or selling subscriptions but you've got to set that up and what you guys do is help make that happen in a much more efficient way. How, uh, how has that business gone and, and evolved? Because you guys have been around for several years now. Yeah, we've been around for 15 years actually yeah. as a company but we've been in the fast industry since about, really since it started about 2018, 2019. Um, and so it, we're, how's it evolved for you guys? Well, you know, back 2018, it was really, I mean, Fast really began with Pluto TV and Zumo. Those were the two OGs in, right. the, in the industry. And back then it was, as I like to say, fun and games. <laughs> there wasn't much money around. The content was repurposed, primarily digital first content. And now look where we are. Right now it's predicted to be, projected to be a $20 billion business in a couple of years. It's already in the billions. Um, obviously, ad-supported content is where everyone's betting at the moment. We've all got, you know, right. um, fatigue with our subscriptions. So it's grown. It's really now defining the future of television as opposed to just being a free alternative to pay TV. And kind of a, almost a footnote to all these other very important things that are going on, launching SVOD services and all that. But it's interesting because it feels like at this point, FAST is entering into a new phase where there's much more competition for the ad dollars that are out there because there's been so much stuff that's been built. So what's the advice that you have for your clients about how to succeed in the market now as opposed to back in the fun and games days? Fun and games days? Yes. Well, look, obviously content from the consumer's perspective is the king. Um, I think what's changed is there's always in fast been a bit of a there's been a, a, a big delta between the quality of experiences in fast channels and what we're used to on traditional TV. Right. Um, now that everything's running in the cloud, now that everything is soft, meaning there's no physical equipment, we can develop at the speed of the internet and now of course at the speed of AI. We can create experiences which are as good as and soon better than anything you'd see on TV. Um, our advice to customers is obviously that data is king. Well, content is king and the data is, is its queen, I guess. As the emperor or something. As, as I don't the know. emperor, yeah. right. Um, understanding what you've got, understanding how it's performing, and then the beauty of, of building things and of running them in the cloud is you can react in near real time. If you have the data, you should be able to react from a programming perspective at social media speed rather right. than traditional television speed. Right, so I think this this is really important because what you're saying is a nimbleness and an ability to quickly iterate in the moment to a seasonal channel, for yeah. instance, of your content or some sort of stuff reacting. We had a couple of musical giants die this week, Sly Stone and Brian Wilson from the, yeah. the Beach Boys. I mean, I could imagine 
musical channels that pop up that are just their music or shows about them, for instance, or that include their music happening very quickly. But that's the kind of thing you're saying we need to do. Right. And you know what, if you think about what the obituary writer for the New York Times would do, well, they'd have the obit written. But then it's the whole manual process of pulling the materials together and spinning it up and publishing right. it. Well, now imagine that done at the speed of, of AI, the speed of the internet with the speed of AI. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to generate programming around some event, I could do it instantaneously. We, by the end of this year, will have self-optimizing channels, basically self-programming channels that will dynamically adjust to seasonality. So a movie channel can, can start to adjust its own programming based on seasons, based on external events. And this is the autonomy we this were. This is the autonomy. We got finally about. to the subhead, is did what I, you're did saying. I hate labor <laughs> it? Right. But that's really interesting because you could just imagine AI iterating, iterating, iterating in competition with other AIs, iterating, 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 right? So it's really going to be yeah, a race. They'll, they'll be fighting each other. Yeah. Right, they'll be fighting each other for viewership. And then bouncing back and forth. So it's going to be a very interesting time going forward. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with, Blair. We're going to wrap it here. I'm David Bloom with Blair Harrison, the CEO and founder of Frequency, uh, who spoke yesterday. Thanks for everything, Blair. Thank you.